Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie and I'm here today with Charlie. He's sleeping right there. You can't see him, but he's snoozing. And uh, my newest addition, my little precious uh, baby girl uh, prototype, Gracie my, made by Laurel Eagles, lovingly brought to life by Veronica Lale. I just opened this baby, when was it? On Monday, yes, two days ago. And I am here to kind of show you not only the details, but also to do my usual size comparison video. I'm going to compare her to Twyla for everyone who would be interested in this sculpt. And I thought I would do something unusual. I usually don't stand in front of camera. I'm not <laughs> very comfortable in front of camera, but I thought that this would give you an idea about her actual size. Because I feel like sometimes when we show them on camera, um, the size can be deceiving. Like the, what we see on camera, it would happen to me a million times. I would uh, totally think, okay, this and this scalp is this size. And then I would see the scalp in person and it was actually bigger or smaller. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, I thought it was like this baby was much bigger or, oh, she's so tiny. I thought she was bigger. So. I think I thought that this would give you a good idea um, for just the information. I am five feet eight, five eight tall, and uh, my height is five feet. So, and th this is how she looks in my arms. Arms. So she's completely like not lost. Uh, she is the perfect newborn size. And I think yeah, she's still in her swaddle, guys. Uh, I don't know. I have to tell you something. I had so many outfits ready for this baby. And I all I've been doing was like uh, softies materials. The softies like simply like onesie or the baby swaddles because I feel she's about to start yelling. Like she's not happy. So I just want to swaddle for her for a night. It's just the funniest thing. So yeah, but... <laughs> And I have her swallow like this. And so this is how she looks in my arms. Oh, hopefully we'll be able to see. She's so precious. Okay, guys. So there is no way I would be able to capture the details if I had my camera on a stand because I just can't find the perfect light or at least uh, good enough light. So I will have to be holding the camera. Uh, if it's shaky, I apologize. First of all, I wanted to show you the sculpt from the bird view while wearing the body plate uh, that I showed you at the box opening. This is wrap around body plate. It goes all around the doll's cloth body and therefore it's perfect for taking pictures uh, especially with diaper and a little cute top things like that you can go see from any angle and because usually the regular body plates they end about this level this one goes all around and it's absolutely perfect I was trying to kind of position it. I, I need to, uh, if I'm going to take the pictures, obviously this won't be visible. It's hard to do it. I could prop her hands like that, but I just didn't want to have anything. Oh, see? Yeah. So this is how she looks from the bird view. Uh, here is the magnet, magnetized umbilical stump. It has magnet magnet here, and there is a magnet inside of her body plate. So you can play around with it, with your diaper. She's wearing the disposable little boutique diaper because um, I'm going to do a comparison with my Julia, with Twyla, and I didn't have the two same diapers. And I... Yeah, so once again, this is bird view of the sculpt. Um, for those who haven't watched my box opening video, this is my prototype number two, Gracie May by Laurel Eagles masterfully done by veronica lale and she right 
two days ago. She's super newborn. She has dry skin and you can see all the veining and blotching and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see. I don't even know. Last time when I was doing box opening in camera, it looked, when I was looking on a screen, it looked very detailed and then uh, upload that YouTube botched a little bit uh, the sound and the details. But yes, she's very, very newborn. Very, very super newborn. I think uh, it's quite, I can quite like honestly say she's the most newborn painted doll I have ever had in my collection. But you can see all the veining, the capillaries. There's a little bit of dry skin and milk bumps. A lot of veining, a lot of like attention paid to veining. Same goes for her limbs and for her torso. So yes, I reweighted this baby uh, simply because I wanted the legs to stay up and they do with the proper weight distributed uh, across her cloth body. You will be able to achieve this effect even with the uh, vinyl torso still on. Her legs will stay up. And I did a couple of waiting tutorials throughout the years. If you go to my channel's playlist, uh, it's all there. The waiting tutorials, uh, hair care tutorials, or all that. So if you are newer and you are interested in how to do your own reweighting, it's it's pretty easy, guys. It's not uh horrifying, you can't mess anything up and uh, it really makes the world of difference of how you bond, how you enjoy, especially if you're into photography. It's so much more different to take the pictures with the properly weighted doll. So yeah, this is this is how she looks. And now I'm going to bring my Twyla in and we can do comparison of those two scalps and painting styles. <coughs> what? <coughs> Are you jealous? I was playing with dolls. Oh my goodness! What? Why say hello? Say hello, aunties and uncles. I'm upset. I'm more upset than Gracie May. I'm cranky. Okay, guys. So here are the girls next to each other. Uh, I undressed both of them, so you would be able to see. Uh, their cloth bodies and just the kit. Uh, I they're wearing the same disposable diaper of the same size. So I'm, I I have tried to make them as same as possible and next to each other, like positioned on the white, so you would be able to see the differences. So on the left, you have prototype Twilight by Laurel Eagles, done by Veronica Lala, and on the right, this is Gracie May prototype. Uh, Gracie made by Laurel Eagles, done by Veronica as well. So same sculptor, same same artist, two different sculpts. Uh, Twyla, she is officially 18 and a half inches with bent legs. And I would say uh, when I, at the meetups, I compared her to Levi. So she's about the same size as Levi with those... Um, Crunched legs. Uh, and so she's 18 and a half inches and with the head circumference 14 and a half inches. And here we have Gracie May. She is officially 18 inches uh, with those legs. She would be longer if the legs were straight, but obviously she has the newborn scrunch going on. Uh, and so she's 18 inches with head circumference 14 inches so she's all 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 in all she's half inch smaller than uh twyla even though she has shorter face and the head i would say like the skull she's shorter and more round versus twyla being a little bit like more like oblong 
plus obviously these two are completely different painting styles and i was talking to veronica today a little bit this morning and she said that she was a little bit worried how i would feel about this baby because she's very very newborn and this was like she was experimenting with little, with purples and everything this was kind of like the first time for her uh doing this color scheme and i love it to be honest guys because if all the babies look the same what would be the point buying all these scalps i do understand having uh different scalps but uh the same painting style um i tend to do it when i love the artist i usually tend to go there because i have a good rapport with them uh i know their style i know where i'm getting for my money uh, i know that i won't be disappointed and but sometimes like when you just shop at with one artist uh it doesn't matter that you have like multiple scalps they babies kind of look the same it happened to me with another artist which with, whose work i absolutely loved but i got into this merry-go-round when i would be just buying from her and uh after some time you do realize that yes the scalp may be different but the babies kind of look the same because honestly i am one of those collectors who tend to buy certain face except of my twyla she is exception this baby is a complete was a complete surprise and i love her obviously my julia um but her face gracie may this is the face that i tend to go for little newborn swollen faces uh full lips um open mouth even my full body silicone my emmy she looks like she could be her sister so i noticed this uh repeating pattern in my collecting buying like certain facial features and yeah but as i said this was a very very pleasant surprise because my grace my <clears throat> excuse me she is the fifth doll from veronica that i got i had five dolls from veronica so far and they were all different because they were different sizes and different scalps and uh yes but this baby is completely different guys if i looked at her i wouldn't say okay this is like your typic typical veronica baby she really went and she dived into experimenting with completely like freshly hatched newborn tones and uh yeah she's the the painting on this baby is dramatic especially when you compare it to julia who is more olive skin tone more balanced uh she doesn't have uh all this blotching she has a little bit of like baby little cheeks you can see capillaries and veining here but it's uh nothing compared to what gracie may has on her face and <clears throat> because uh she wanted veronica she wanted this freshly hatched very fresh newborn right out of the womb look when uh even the hands are a little bit purplish the feet are purplish uh baby is cranky and she's about to start yelling so she's getting all purple in the face so uh or pink so yes, I can see they're completely different. And this brings me joy because I, this is the first time I'm seeing them side by side because of this video. I still haven't had time like fully to start like enjoying and fully bonding with this baby. Yeah, I love her, don't get me wrong, but I think we all need that time when we get a new doll. I picked everyone else, that's what I do. And so I just can focus on the new addition. And uh, I still didn't have that time. Um, this is the first time that i'm uh, well i changed her yesterday and then i changed her back into the swallow as i said but um this is the first time i'm seeing these two next to each other these two laurel eagle sculpts and i am really really loving what i'm seeing because i love either both of them for different reasons and you can see on uh, the limbs the legs are about the same length which is really nice because she has longer arms and longer legs compared to twyla uh, who is half inch 
longer. I'm sorry, please excuse Charlie. He's yelling because it's his walk time is coming. So I will just um, cut this short, guys. Um, what I also like about uh, Gracie May is her neck. I really like when the scalp has the neck. Same as Twyla. So when uh, they're dressed up and everything doesn't look like they have no neck. So I really like that. I really think, I really love, I'm really loving her proportions, this baby's proportions. And I think she may look a little bit like more dramatic than what she looks like in person under my light. I don't know. I will see when I'm going to be editing this video. But I just wanted you, you to see how these uh, two scalps look next to each other and to give you more close idea about Gracie May's size and her proportions. She wears a uh, newborn. I know she's 18 inches, but she's pretty um, chubby in her thighs. Uh, if you compare it to Twyla, I would even say, see? Looks even like she's chubbier. And her limbs are a little bit longer, which I love. I love long, nice, lean uh, limbs, arms, and legs. So, and her feet are really nice size too. They're longer than Twyla's, but Twyla's uh, fingers are kind of scrunched. But yes, I absolutely love, love, love proportions on Gracie. I mean, I love all Laura scalps and I love these baby scrunchies and everything, but I'm really enjoying the new painting style and this new scalp. And uh, I love how the hands are so very expressive. So, yeah. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know down in the comments. I will try to respond to each one of them. Uh, and thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having a wonderful long weekend. It's coming, so I can't wait to make another video and to do the little topic and like changing video with her. But yes, have a fabulous rest of your week and I will see you in our next video. Bye.